if anyone get accidentally exposed to a corona positive patient what he or she should do prevent the corona infection there are few measures which is worth doing i'll mention all the steps one by one i hope the information i shared will be useful to you Welcome back. Friends, we are getting a lot of queries. If anyone get accidentally exposed to a corona positive patient, what he or she should do? Believe me, corona is not a uh, very, very deadly or mortal disease. We need to understand one thing. The corona is infectious, it is true, but 90 to 95 percent of the corona infected patients get completely cured just without any treatment. So don't get anxious if you met or if you come in contact with a positive patient or anybody who was suspect later on he came to know that gentleman turned out to be positive don't get tenses don't get anxious don't get too much stressed don't get too much tensed that okay you got exposed to one corona positive patient what will happen Every day, morning to night, when we are giving rounds, we are seeing so many corona positive patients. So please keep yourself calm and quiet and believe from within corona is such a disease or such an infection where 90 to 95% of the infected patients get completely cured without any intervention. However, prevent the corona infection, there are few measures which is worth doing. I'll mention all the steps one by one. Most important is taking vitamin D. So vitamin D at the dose of 1000 to 4000 international unit per day is proven to be to some extent preventive for corona infection. Second important intervention is taking vitamin C. Vitamin C at the dose of 500 milligram twice in a day is enough to prevent corona infection. Those who are suffering from renal failure, as because vitamin C is cleared by urine, it is not necessary that you have to take 1000 milligram. A 500 milligram once in a day will be okay for anybody who is suffering from renal failure. Third important intervention is taking sustained release melatonin tablets. Melatonin is a one kind of sleep medicine. It is used uh, to, uh, I mean, uh, to reschedule our sleep cycles and melatonin sustained release tablets are available and it is proven that melatonin has a preventive role for the corona infection. The fourth important intervention is taking famotidine. Famotidine is an older generation of medication which is used for hyperacidity. Famotidine 40 mg twice in a day is proven that it has a some preventive role. Yes, there are some studies which has proven taking zinc at the dose of 75 to 100 mg per day is also proven to be preventive for corona infection. So you can take zinc tablets. Zinc tablets are available in the name of zinc fat. That is another important uh, intervention method for prevention of corona. Now I come to the hydroxychloroquine regarding what all over the world there are a lot of discussions going on. But my suggestion for hydroxychloroquine would be do not take without any medical supervision because you do not know whether you have a prolonged QT interval or any ECG abnormality, any arrhythmias which can be badly affected by the hydroxychloroquine. So hydroxychloroquine is a good prophylactic drug, but it has to be taken under medical supervision. There are a few lot of information floating in the social medias like drinking hot water, taking this herb, that herb. Okay, there are a lot of practices, common practices, which people do for boosting their immunity, but these are not scientifically, all of these are not scientifically proven. Last but not the least, is doing regular exercise and pranayam. Regular cardiovascular exercise, joint movement exercise, isometric muscle contraction exercise and pranayam definitely improves our immunity, definitely brings positive attitude toward life and obviously the pranayam improves the health of the, our lung. So henceforth these are always beneficial. 
So I think the following points, if you can keep in mind, that is do not get tensed and do not get overstressed. Take vitamin C, take vitamin D. You can take melatonin tablets in the night. You can take um, hamotidine 40 milligram twice in a day. And under medical supervision, you can take hydroxychloroquine. So these are the preventive aspects. Yes, there are some studies which has proven taking zinc at the dose of 75 to 100 milligram per day is also proven to be preventive for corona infection. So you can take zinc tablets. Zinc tablets are available in the name of zinc fat. That is another important uh, intervention method for prevention of corona. I hope the information I shared will be useful to you. Thank you very much.